When we talk about hang gliding, we consider it at first as a free flying machine. In order to fly, we normally go up to the mountain and run into the air with no engine on our back. This means that we are flying the same routes as the birds, chasing the mountain ranges in order to get the lift from the dynamic winds and turmoils. This story is not about free flying. This story is about flying in places that I would never dare to fly with my hang glider before. It all started here. So Philip was the first guy who put this engine on his deck and uh, he was skiing through the streets of Maribor with it. And when I saw this video I thought like if it's pushing him it could be pushing me as well in the air. So it was not really long time until I was calling Urban, who is the technical guy behind this engine, and started asking him about uh, the possibilities. And uh, yeah, it, it was not really hard to persuade him to uh, be on board for this project with me. We are having a proper turbojet uh, turbine. Uh, which has a radial compressor um, and it has a ring uh, burning chamber and then the normal axial uh, turbine. Um, it spools up up to uh, 93,000 uh, RPM, which is the limitation for this engine. Um, and it's very interesting because it has about, uh, well, 5%, the last 5% of the range is actually where you get the full power. The turbines uh, like this one are mainly coming from the RC modeling, um, although that lately uh, they have been used quite professionally also by uh, some of the projects like drones and uh, similar. Um, this particular turbine uh, develops uh, 400 newtons of thrust. So as Urban said, it's 40 kilograms of thrust. I was reading on the internet what's the lowest uh, value to be able to take off from the flat ground up. And uh, this was kind of the number that uh, it was written in the articles. And uh, that meant, okay, we have an engine, so we need to start designing things and uh, start testing. Okay, deal, let's do it. soon that we met up with uh, Urban and uh, we did the first day just a uh, test run like I had the jet engine on my back and just to have the feel of what it looks like and uh, I must admit I was you become humble when you hear this noise of the engine how strong it is but uh, in the end it felt to me like okay this should work out because you can play with the trust quite uh, naturally you feel it so let it go go Yay! So we started with the first design where we put the engine actually on the hang glider and uh, the more I was looking at it the more I was not satisfied with it because uh, it meant that it should be super super nicely positioned otherwise it would be making pitch movements of the glider 
you know, you go with the trust, it pulls you maybe up or maybe down. And uh, the more, really, the more I was looking at it, the more I was not really happy. Then I started thinking like, uh, they are using already this kind of flying with a normal propeller, two-stroke engines. And they normally have a special harness where they put an engine onto the back of the harness and uh, there you have propeller in the back and it all works really nicely. So it made, made me thinking like, why are we doing something here? Why are we pioneering something? Because there's something out there that is already working and um, most important, it is safe, or, safe already. So we left this uh, decision with having the engine on the hang glider and uh, I went and bought this harness, which is called Mosquito Harness. So when I bought this harness, uh, I had to test fly it. You know, at that time I didn't have zero, zero experiences in flying with the uh, engine on a hang glider. And uh, it was in the internet that was helping me. I was watching the YouTube videos, how people are taking off and everything. I rigged up the glider at one field and put everything together with an engine and so start of the engine and uh, started running like hell and actually in the end it was quite easy it was not a problem and uh, I was flying the route that I'm normally not flying with the hang glider because we are when we are low we are going to land and uh, I had fun time but uh, it felt really stiff flying it because as soon as you went into the turn the whole weight of the engine was pulling you inside, so it was really different technique of flying needed in order to fly good. And um, my project was that I will be flying in the riverbed of Socha riverbed, which um, demands really good flying abilities, you know, really good handling. So you have rocks below you, close by, you have trees around you, and that means that you need to fly this wing like 100 percent and uh, with this engine i definitely didn't feel like it's uh, going well but you know we went on and i tested this thing i was flying with mosquito harness with uh, this propeller engine and uh, yeah i gave it to urban and i said okay now you, this needs to be changed to the jet option so we put the jet engine on it So the testing day arrived, uh, the setup was done, the jet engine was on, the gas tank was on the harness, not in the favorable position, but it was okay. And uh, we went to a big, big field, it was old uh, airplane field, and uh, it was not the best conditions because it was in the middle of the day where it was still a lot of thermals. But yeah, uh, the project was coming, we had the dates already done, so we had to test flight. So as you can see the first takeoff, uh, here it was uh, not so nice because I got a little bit of wind from the side which pushed me a little bit and uh, I had to squeeze my teeth and put the full throttle as much as possible and uh, correct the hang glider. But then it was okay. I was in the air and the thing was flying really nicely. I did two low passes and it felt much more confident than it uh, felt with a propeller engine on the back. There was only one problem, that uh, the gas tank, when the kerosene was moving inside from time to time, the, the tube uh, was losing uh, the gasoline. I 
actually in the end when I did the second uh, low pass, uh, the engine stopped. But thankfully at that time I was uh, pointed at uh, the wind so it was no problem to land. But yeah, this is testing. So um, we saw that we had made a small mistake there with the uh, setup, uh, but uh, it was Urban's uh, job to fix it and uh, we had a second run of testing. So it was the last day before the project and we were still calculating how much time can I fly with uh, 10 liters of kerosene that I had with me and uh, eventually we found out that uh, I can be in the air for 8 minutes but that means that I need to be out of the river at about 6 minutes so we had to recalculate all the route and everything in order to have it done safely and properly and uh, this was actually the first day that I was really, really starting to enjoy flying with this uh, setup. Um, it felt natural, it felt good, I was able to fly low, I was able to bank and go and take turns with it. It really started to feel like I'm a superman flying with this thing because I, with a hang glider you come down, you come low and then you land. And here I was able to come down, go swoop all the landing field and then in the end just pull the the throttle and I went back up. This was something new to me, for me. So when it comes to the project flying, it's a little bit different than it is when you are flying for yourself because uh, when you're flying for yourself it's um, your decision when you will go in the air, you, need, you see that conditions are okay and you go and when it's like this is a little bit different because you actually have the whole team there uh, working for you to realize this project so there is a certain pressure on you. But of course it's very important that as a pilot you know when to say also no because sometimes the conditions are not okay and it's better to actually stay on the ground and not flying than uh, going in the air and do something stupid. But for the project here we had uh, two really nice days with really nice weather. We were doing all of this in the morning when the weather was calm, we had no wind anywhere. Uh, of course, this was a little bit of a problem for the takeoff, but uh, you know, it was just on me to run a little bit faster and get this thing in the air. But uh, otherwise, it was really, really the safest conditions you can get actually for flying like this.
You know, I just cannot describe this feeling when you come so low with a hang glider and you have uh, trees passing you on the left and on the right. Below you there's crystal clear Socha river and you are just moving really, really fast, very close to the river over this. It's, it's something really amazing to feel and uh, this really paid off for the project that we were working on it for nearly one year and a half. I quickly forgot about all the problems that could happen with the engine if it would stop in the meantime because uh, I was just focused on everything, on flying proximity close with the, with the water. Um, I was even able to put my legs sometimes into the water and get wet a little bit. So I believe we created a really nice flying machine. It was a loud one, but nice for flying. And also I believe I felt safe at any given moment when I was in the air with it. Now when I reflect back a little bit, uh, I remember myself being as a small kid. Uh, I had all the magazines and everything about uh, jet planes. I knew the technical data of it. Uh, I had all the pictures on the walls of it. So looking at the project now, I see that I actually fulfilled these dreams. I flew the machine that had uh, wings. It had jet engine on it. So I believe by that I could say that I was a jet pilot, at least for these two days.